Friday, September 30th, 2016. Maneco 64 here, home of alternative economics and uh, contrarian views. Uh, covering European banks this morning. Uh, not surprisingly, last night uh, we saw Deutsche Bank uh, ADRs, which stand for American Depository, Depository Rights, which are Deutsche Bank uh, shares trading in the U.S. They dropped like 7%. And uh, they were trading in dollars, of course. Uh, this morning, uh, the European markets are open already. It's 8.55 a.m. London time or 3.55 New York time. Deutsche Bank uh, shares or the Deutsche Bank stock in Frankfurt is trading at 10 euros basically right now. 10 euros and 4 cents, which would be the equivalent uh, in dollars of around 11.80 uh, or sorry, 11.20 uh, which was pretty much the low yesterday uh, in New York for the uh, Deutsche Bank ADR. Uh, this morning, Deutsche Bank made a new low uh, down to uh, 9 euro 75. So it's rebounded a little bit above 10 euros. Uh, the other markets, uh, the Dow right now is down 40 points at uh, 18,102. It did trade down to uh, 18,077. Uh, the German DAX is down 186 points at 10,200, or down 1.78%. The FTSE 100 is down 1.3%. Uh, gold is fairly steady. It's up $5 uh, on the 6 p.m. close in New York uh, on uh, Axis. It's at 13.25. Silver is 19.12, up two from the 6 p.m. close in New York as well. I like to actually talk now more about the European banks because they're going to be greatly, uh, well, they are being greatly affected by Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank is a major European commercial and investment bank. It, it's a counterparty to all the major European banks. So this morning, then, Deutsche Bank is down 7.3%. It's just kind of matching what happened yesterday in New York. Uh, Looking at the other big banks, we've got Lloyd's uh, Bank in the UK, that's down 2.4%. RBS of the UK as well, that's down 3.27%. Barclays of the UK is down 3.8%. Uh, looking at the French banks, uh, which in my opinion are very important to look at, uh, they were one of the biggest uh, banks in Europe as well. BNP Paribas is down four percent. Uh, Credit Agricole is down another is down four percent. So is Socgen or Société Générale. That's down four point three percent. Banco Santander, uh, the biggest Spanish bank, that's down four point four percent. So we need to start looking at all the other banks because if you remember well. Uh, when Lehman collapsed uh, in 08, all the other banks were in trouble. Uh, Merrill Lynch had to be taken over by Bank of America. Morgan Stanley had to be made a bank holding company and lent money by the Fed. Goldman Sachs was also made a bank holding company overnight by the Fed, and they were lent money. They were all going to go. Um, the difference between these banks in Europe now and Lehman is that Lehman didn't have depositors like retail accounts. They were all corporate uh, accounts. And once all these corporates took the money out of the bank, the liquidity collapsed. And I was reading an inter interesting article uh, in Zero Hedge this morning, and it says this is how much liquidity Deutsche Bank has at this moment and what happens next. And basically they're talking about the fact that the difference between Deutsche Bank and a lot of the uh, European banks and Lehman is that these uh, European banks, aside from being big investment banks, they're also uh, commercial banks and they have retail deposits as well as corporate depositors. Yesterday, uh, the story on Bloomberg about the hedge funds uh, accounts taking out money, that, were, that was corporate uh, clients from the prime brokerage. And that isn't really a reading this article on Zero Hedge, that isn't a huge part of the liquidity that Deutsche Bank has. 
uh, they ha have roughly 500 billion deposits, and 300 of those are from retail accounts. Uh, and one thing they say uh, on Zero Hedge in this story is that the more the share price drops, the more depositors, be they corporate depositors or uh, retail deposit, the more concerned they become and the bigger the chance of them going to the bank and taking their money out. And where do you put that money? Because are you going to take it away from Deutsche Bank and put it in Commerce Bank? Are you going to take it away from Credit Agricole and put it uh, in BNP Paribas? Uh, it's going to be very interesting uh, to look at this. So we need to keep an eye on the share prices. And that's why I'm updating you uh, on the European banks, their share prices. Um, it's interesting uh, talking about this and, you know, depositors taking money uh, out of the bank. Uh, because in the UK, I've noticed in the last month or two, uh, I've seen a lot of adverts by the FCSC, which is the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. Uh, it's the uh, equi UK equivalent of the FDIC. And they've been advertising on the radio saying, you know, all accounts are guaranteed up to 75,000 pounds. So don't worry, you know, something happens to the bank. You can get your money back within seven days. Uh, one thing they don't say, though, is what if you have more than 75000 in the bank? Uh, and at the end of the advert, they say, oh, don't worry, this will probably never happen. But it's uh, strange that they've been, you know, advertising and marketing uh, so much lately. It makes me think that some, they know that there's something wrong uh, with the uh, banking system, not only in the UK, but in Europe. Uh, so very interesting times. So as I leave here, it's 9 o'clock a.m., so I'll give you another update, final update on the markets. Gold, you know, that's the safest kind of monetary asset you can have, really, physical gold. Uh, that's at 1326, now up 6. Uh, Dow is down 35 at 18,109. Silver is now moving higher, $19.18. Uh, the pound is down uh, 20 pips at 129.50. Uh, let's look at the uh, banks now. Deutsche Bank, 10 euros 12. So that's down uh, 74 cents, down 6.8%. The low is 9.75. So it's rebounded a little bit. Um, BNP Paribas now still down 4%. Uh, Credit Agricole, 4%. So not much change there. So uh, interesting times here, last day of the quarter as well. Uh, I'll uh, keep an eye on these markets and update you when necessary. And uh, if you enjoy my videos, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And uh, if you'd like to donate to my channel, we accept, uh, I accept Bitcoin. Uh, you can donate through PayPal and Patreon. And uh, there are links below in the description uh, relating to the donations. Take care. Bye.